be working on uh, advanced takedowns and finishes from a standing position. So hopefully you'll be catching on quickly and let's get to work. Today I'll be working on uh, my single leg finishes from a standing position. In my earlier tapes I showed you how to get your shots, your position, and changing levels. So we'll go ahead and work on finishing the single leg all the way to the ground. You got your normal position of your stance, your head position, your turtleneck, and I'm looking for the outside leg. So when I have to work for the outside leg, I'm gonna have to circle to that position. So when I circle, I'm stepping to the right, and I shoot my shot to the left. And I'm making sure, again, that I am wrapping down. I'm not wrapping up. Everything is down. So I got my shot, my head is up. I lock my hands. Greco grip. So when I'm blocking, I'm staying up high. I'm not trying to get down low. Right now, we're just working on a high leg finish. So as soon as I step, I use this leg to push off. I use my head to press in, and I'll stand right to my feet. One more time, I change my levels, shoot my shot, get my Greco grip hand, push off with my back leg and I step up right to my feet. When I come up to my feet and he stays up, I'll pinch the leg, keep my head trapped, and I'll just work is just a little small back step with my left leg and push with my head. Most of the time you would like to stay up on your feet so you have position of knowing where the guy is on the ground. So one more time. I circle, change my levels, shoot across, use this back leg to push when I lock my hands, and I'm up right to here. Keep my head up high, my neck is not down, my back, I'm trying to use everything for my legs. Using my butt muscles, my thighs, my calves. So everything is up high. And all I'm gonna do is just like a light chain pull. I'll step and try to drop. That'll be one of the fish finishes from a high single. When I'm finishing the single, sometimes I have problems just finishing to a single by itself. So in this position, maybe I'll change off to a double leg. I work the same position, I'm circling, changing levels, looking for my shot. Come right to the leg, use my hands to lock. I got my head up, my post leg is pushing, and I'm coming right to my feet. Now sometimes guys will try to keep my hands from chain pulling, and they'll step with this foot. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick the inside leg to the outside, use my free hand, and go right to the other knee. time I'm changing my levels, my head's up, I'm in a good position, I go right to the leg, my trail leg comes up, my head's up to his chest, I come up right to here, I try to chain pull, he steps, now if you watch my legs when I kick, <clears throat> it comes from here, I step out my left leg, and in with my right leg, and I bring it right up to my hip, then I'll change up to the double, and drive. Go ahead and show it at full speed. Change levels, hit my single, come up. Right to that position. And you have to make sure is when I have the outside leg, when I'm up and I'm changing off, I have almost like a calf wrap. Then I can change with the other one. And I'm pulling and try to get his hips up and parallel. So I'm trying to get him swinging like this and driving across and forward. That is one of the finishes from a single to a double. One of the other finishes that I have if I have problems uh, changing off to the other leg to a double is I could go to the back when I do do this. 
I do the same position. I circle, my head is in good position. Changing levels, shooting for my leg. Now all I'm gonna do, instead of coming up with the outside leg, I'm just gonna pull it behind me. And I have an angle on. This is my angle I have. And all I'm gonna do is put my locked hands. I'm gonna change hands of grabbing the leg. My right arm will go to his right leg. And my left hand will go to his left knee. So all I'm gonna do is just change right off. This will be an easy finish. I come around and try to get from behind his leg so I don't get back in the guard. And I can work from here, from this position. <clears throat> Change of levels. Shooting across. I got my head up still. My head's up tight, my close leg's back. I'm just going to pull this back a little bit so my angle's parallel with him. Change hands. My outside hand will come right to the knee and I'll just try to pull them to me. And get behind the legs, so that way it's hard for him to get in the guard. So it's one more time full speed, change levels, hit my shot, get parallel, pull my drag leg back, change it up. I'll show this one more time from this position. Change my levels. It's one of the ba more basic takedown moon uh, maneuvers from a standing position with a single leg. When I'm finished with singles, sometimes there's problems with me finishing high at the three high uh, finishes I showed because the guy will sprawl his hips down when I shoot a shot. Now in this position, and I shoot a shot, this is what I call a calf wrap. I hit my single, the guy sprawls, you see how my right hand is going down towards his calf. All I'm going to do is circle to my left, and he'll drop right in front of me. And that's a calf wrap. It's real hard for guys to defend this because it keeps their hips straight. So when I shoot my shot, he sprawls. Now see how my head's still up. I'm not putting my head down because I want to keep him thinking that I'm going to come drive into him. And as soon as that, as I pull this right leg back, I have my pose with my right hand, and I'm just going to duck my head down and try to let him go right past me. I keep my leg, come up high, and have him try to come up. One more position. Change my levels, shoot my shot, he sprawls, I post, let my head go down, my leg comes with it. Right on top. And you can work the same thing if I get caught in a high position with my single and he sprawls. All I'm going to do is let go with one hand and let my arm vine down. It's kind of hard for him to sprawl in that position. That would be one of the low level finishes from a single. Another low, low leg finish that I can use from a single leg it was called an Iranian. Sometimes you have problems with guys sprawl into you and you can't turn the corner. So instead of that, I'll have my single and I'll keep here because he keeps pressure. All I'm going to do is try to duck my head in between his legs, bring both of my legs underneath my hips. I have here, I duck my head, use my hand to post, slide my hips, are my legs underneath my hips, and come right to this position. As soon as I come to this position, I let my right hand let go. I still have a single. Come up under, wrap my leg right to here. I'll step up with my left leg, pop my head back and up, and I'm going towards his lower back. And I end up right in the thumb, getting his back position. One more time, I have my single. I lock. I post, slide this leg under, pop his hips up, this leg comes under, step up my leg, lean back, and swing across his hips. I want to try to keep my hands across his hips so he cannot kick out forward. 
One more time in full position, or full speed. Take my shot. I duck. Let my arm wrap. Step with my outside leg. Go all the way to the hip. And I come out on top. That is what we call the Iranian from a low leg finish. Just to give another position when I have my single leg, I get caught a little, sometimes you may get caught a little lower with your single. So in this position, when I have my home shot and I'm locking here, the guy swells his hips and gives me a wizard. That's wizarding down with his arm, trying to push me off his leg. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post, and I'm gonna try to circle behind him. And what I do, I use my left leg to try to step behind his right leg. I post and step behind his right leg. From right here, I use my right hand, grab his ankle. This arm is like a reverse swim stroke. I swim out, it's called the limp arm. Limp arm my hand out and come across right to the hip. I still have the ankle and everything. I come right to that position to get behind him. This is a, a little advanced, but basic once you've learned it and go over it in uh, repetition, practicing. So I have my shot, he sprawls me, tries to wizard me down. All I'm gonna do is use my hand, step behind the leg, use my free hand to grab his ankle, pull my shoulder and let my arms be limp. And come right across. Sometimes I can come across the ankle or the knee or the hip. Just as long as I use my right hand and keep on the ankle. First position. I change my levels, shoot my shot, he sprawls. You see how I have, still have the calf wrap? I'm using the calf wrap. All I'm going to do is step, free hand grabs the ankle. I turn my um, fist down so I can get the limp arm up motion. Pull, come across. Drive forward, and I keep the ankle. That is one of the low level finishes with the limp arm. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys how it works in full speed motion. Change my levels, shoot my shot, step in the pocket, grab an ankle. Now watch how I keep my head up. Come right across and drive forward. Keeping your head up in all your shots is one of the best positions you want to do when you're finishing your singles, or doubles, or high crosses. I've showed you the high single with finishes, a low level finishes, now, I'm going to circle position so I can get a low single. That's where I'm attacking from the shin to the ankle. That's where I attack from. So I'm going to circle the position, change my levels, maybe even put a couple fakes to get the guy off his toes, and shoot for my low single. So the position, I got my same position here. I circle to my right. He steps. I step forward. Attack the ankle. And automatically, I'll get my hips and put them on my legs and put them underneath my hips. I step up. I use my right arm. Use my right arm to go across his leg. I pop my head up and just try to kick my legs out and look towards him. And I attack from there. One more time. Circling, changing levels. Attack on my leg. I grab at his ankle. Post. Get my legs underneath my hips. Pull it up. This leg comes across the, the leg. All I do is pull and push. When I let go of the ankle, I come right across up to the hips. I work right from the top position. One more time, I circle, he steps, I change my levels low, shoot my shot, my head's still up at all times, I never put my head down, my head's up at all times, get my hips under me, pop his hips up, this arm comes to the free leg, all I'm going to do is push, pull, and go for the takedown. And you see how I let go of the outside leg where I had the single to come right on top. I'll go ahead and show that one more time at full speed. <clears throat> I do this 
circle, change level, shoot my shot, come up, and I'll be right on top of position to finish a low single. When I'm using the same low single, I could add another move as a limp arm. It's almost the same thing as using a high single with uh, low finishes, but I get stuck in a position where I shoot my shot, I circle, I shoot my shot, and he puts his knee down and whizzes his arm. It's almost the same position, but I'm deeper. I'm a lot deeper in this position, so I'm stronger in this position because my arm's deeper, my head's in tight, and he's in bad position with his knee. So all I'm gonna do is pull my hand out, my knee to trap, and step behind. And when I step behind, I gotta make sure I trap his um, ankle with my hand or else he'll be able to kick his leg out and kick straight out. So I make sure that I grab the ankle. He still has pressure pushing back into me. All I'm gonna do is just pull my arm and try to pull it to the limp arm. I just come right to the outside to the other leg and finish. It's basically almost the same thing, but I'm using it from a low single. I circle, shoot my shot, he pushes down, I'm tight, my head's still up and pressing into him. I use this knee to step behind his leg, my other leg will follow it. I grab the single, I mean the uh, ankle, to keep him from kicking out. Pull and limp arm. Finish to the outside. I circle. Get my shot, he limp arms, keep my head up. I use this leg to step my knee back. When I step back, my head's still up, grabbing the ankle, pull, and limp arms. Then I can just finish like the other single. Go ahead and go over this in full speed position. I circle, he stepped, come out, cross, limp arm. I circle, chain, come right here, use my knee to step behind, grab the ankle, pull, limp arm, come on top. That'll be a low single finish with the limp arm. When I shoot my low single, some of the best times for me to score is on my feet. Once I hit the low single, if I can come on my feet as quick as I can, it takes all of his hips away when I do it. So I set up my low single, get in a circle, I have a little fake and I shoot my shot. Boom. He has a little sprawl. Now all I'm gonna do is do the same thing. I'm gonna drive up into him, keep my head up, and just lift the single to my, up to my uh, waist. I have it right into here, I keep it pinched. Now all I'm gonna do is take a small step back with my right leg and pull this up to my uh, waist. Take a small step back, grab the ankle, pick it up to my waist. Now there's two different things I can do. The first one I'm going to show you is I step at his foot, pull his waist, and I'll pull him straight back. I keep this tied up. I'll step, pull, and it's just almost like a trip. I can work with submission from here, or just work to get position for strikes, or just to take down alone. <clears throat> so yeah, I set it up. He steps, hit my single, push into him, come up. My head's still up tight. I turn my hips, I step back, keep it up tight, keep my hands up high, keeping him from putting pressure into me. I'm gonna do a step right behind his leg, hip, bump back. I work my ankle off from there. Just work for the takedown or striking position. One more time at full speed. Hit my shot. Keep my come up. Press into him. I have my head up tight. Stepping back with my right leg. I use my knee maybe just to press it up a little bit. Come up to here. Right to that position. 
That'll be a low single with a high finish. While I'm working the finish from a low single to a high finish, all I'm going to do is exactly the same thing. Instead of back stepping, I step back, pull the knee up. Now instead of me trying to push him off and trip behind his leg, all I'm going to do is push his head and try to step over his knee. That way, so if I don't step over his knee and I try to step in here, the guy usually hop over my leg when I go to trip. So all I'm going to do is use my left leg. I press my balance into my left leg to trip the knee. And I work right from this position. You guys can work toe holds from here or just to take down alone. So one more time, I come a single, low single, coming up, come to the outside, push him off, and use my leg to step in front of him. Now make sure when you do do this, I kick my leg all the way out. And then come on top. That way so I have a good position when I finish. <clears throat> one more time, full speed. Circle, get my shot, coming up, step out, bring up, push, come right on top. I can work strikes in this thing, chokes, ankle locks, there's a lot of different positions you can work from here. That's a low single with a high finish trip. Right now I just got in uh, doing my single, so now I'll go ahead and go to my double leg uh, finishes. It's just like um, on our beginner tape, if I show you guys the double leg with my drop step. I step back and let my back knee drop. When I let my back knee drop, I'm loading up with it. So I'm dropping, I try to get his hips in good position. I drop my shot, and I'm just gonna run, try to run right through him. I take my shot, and I run right over him. Taking more space coming up. Hold on a second, buddy. So when I pull him in, I take my shot. Try to stay to the side. When I stay to the side, that keeps me from getting in his guard. So I make sure my head position, from right here, my head position is always up, and I'm trying to drive his upper back over his hips. So I suck him and push him over. And then all I do is I go from my legs from being here, I take a small step on the inside, and step to the outside. Go ahead and show that position from the other angle. I have my shot, changing levels, shooting. I take the inside step with this one, outside step with this one, and push his hips over. That way, so I can come right to the other side. One more time. Changing levels, explosion forward, my head goes straight in the middle, my arms are not out like this. I'm trying to stay right in his hips. Right in his hips, so I'm shooting. It comes to the outside of his leg. That'll be one of our double with a high finish. When I'm using my double legs, there's another position that I can use. It is kind of like a snag double or using your body to go all the way across his knees. Instead of driving straight through him, maybe I just want to keep him where he is and snag his knees from under him. So all I'm doing is the same position. I hit my shot, and I'm gonna come across. And when I come across, I wanna pull with this hand and make my body go all the way to the right. So I'm gonna pull, and come right behind me. This one's a little basic, but not a lot of people use it. I change my position, change my levels, my hands up, I'm moving straight forward, my head's not down, I keep the turtleneck up, shoot through, I'm snagging and pulling the, um, the outside leg and making my body go all the way to the right. This one will be a, a very easy shot to take someone down with because they think I'm misdirecting them. I set up my shot, the fake, and see how I'm stepping right behind his leg. When I'm right here, I'm pulling, and my knee's almost trapping his foot. So there's nowhere he can step, and all I'm gonna do is use my head to push. Almost like chopping down a tree. That's about as easy as it can be. 
So one more time at full speed. I change levels. And coming down on top. I can even step up and keep his legs up high. I always start thinking the guard and striking here. Look for submissions. There's a lot of different things that we'll go over in the um, other tapes. I can finish that. Well, I'm using my uh, high doubles. There's a few different finishes I could use. This is for the guys that like to stick their heads to the outside. Myself, I don't like that, but it does work in um, some positions. So let's say I set up my shot. I hit my shot to the outside. He sprawls, and I'm trying to pull and get him in. It's better for me to try to use as less strength as I can. So I use position and turning the corner. All I'm going to do from this, this position, I use my left hand. I pull his knee. I step up to this side and let my head drive across his back. So I'm going to step and I look across. When I look across, I pull down and put him right behind me. And I can come right behind the position where he is. So one more time. Set my shot. Shoot. He sprawls. I'm going to step up. And when I step up, when I step up, this leg leads. So I'm like sliding on my knee pretty much. That way so I can get the position of going across him. Because so I don't want to try to go forward because I'm wasting energy. So all I'm going to do is come across, go forward, pull with this left arm, and look across his back. I can get my shot and finish from there. From a different angle, take my levels, take my shot, he sprawls. Take my leg up, pull, and turn. I come right on top. I'll do this one time at full speed. Set it up, turn. I'm stepping up right over his legs. <laughs> that was one of the low finishes from a double. On my next shot, since I just got in with my double leg, I'll be using my high cotch shot. I uh, want to say a warning to guys who fight no holes barred on a high crotch because in some positions it's bad to get caught in. I can show you one position that a fellow uh, training partner I used to have, Paul Herrera, who got caught in and it's a bad position to get caught in but for wrestlers who are watching this, I'll show you some good finishes. But I'll go ahead and show you the do nots in this position. When I'm setting it up for my high crotch, I take my shot. I don't want to be caught here because if so, there's bad stuff that's going to happen. Get caught right here. And there's an elbow all day. I do not want to get caught. If you watch UFC 9, this is what happened to Paul Herrera. So you don't want to get caught in high crotch in this position. So I'll show you the do nots and the do's to do this. When I'm setting up my shot, it's like every one of my shots. I want to get angles on him that it's going to make me the most powerful and the quickest at. So I've shoot, taken my shot, I circle, post. When I step, I don't want to be in this position too long. I keep my head up. I got my trail leg up. The first position, I'll just go as a change off to a double. I come right to here. This arm will trap his left leg. My left arm will go to his right leg. Now all I'm going to do is look straight across and drive. Change my levels, shoot my shot. Now all I'm gonna do is step, pop my head, change off with my hands, and drive it that way. I look across his back. And I can finish the position. One more time at full speed so you see what it looks like. Circle, change position, take my shot. high crotch. When I'm shooting on a high crotch, another position I can get if I can't change off because the guy can block my leg is what I call a dump. I'll dump and sit him right in his butt. This is one of the better positions for wrestlers. Not so much for no holds barred fighters because you can't get caught with um, unanswered elbows sometimes. So just bear with me on this one. I shoot my shot. I have my high crotch. I'm trying to change off, but the problem is Try to change off, and this guy, he blocks my arm from going across. I can't go across. So I'll keep the leg where I am. Now all I'm going to do 
is my left knee will step behind his foot, and all I'm gonna do is sit him down right here. I'll sit him right down. I have his, his leg locked so he can't really step across, and all I do is dump him. I'll dump him right on his butt. One more time, step, hit my shot. He can't block, he can't change off. So all I'm gonna do is step behind and double. I can come on cross, look for strikes, I got full guard, half guard. <coughs> so one more time at full speed. I change my levels, shoot my shot, step behind, double. I dump him on his back. He can even keep his leg up. I look for uh, ankle lock or just this uh, takedown by itself. That is one of the high crotches to a dumps that we can finish. Another finish that I can use for my high crotch is <clears throat> instead of coming across with the leg, I have problems. I have problems dumping him because he's sprawling back and he has good hips. So instead of doing either one, I'll go to just turn in the corner and change it off with a single. I change my levels, shoot my shot, he sprawls. Now all I'm gonna do is use my head like a whip this hand will go to the low side of the single. I have to use my head as a whip and go across. And I can finish from that position. <laughs> One more time. Change levels. Penetration shot. He sprawls. I go right to the low single. Use my head as a push and drive across. And just push him right by. I can finish my shot from there. I'll show you one more time at full speed. Change my levels. Stop. And I'm coming right across. That was one of the basic low finishes from a high crotch. Here's another uh, position that you could use for if I can't change it off because he's blocking my elbow, I can't go low because he's keeping his hips in good position and pushing forward. So all I'm gonna do is try to get him off his feet by getting my hips underneath him. So I'll do the same thing, I'll shoot my high crotch, he swells back and keeps my leg posted. What I'm gonna do is try to slide my feet underneath my hips and come right to here. I'm gonna let go and grab, this hand's gonna come up the crotch, I lift him off his feet, and I'll let go from here and go right to a double. And I come to a finish. And remember, when you do this move, you need to go as fast as you can. You do not need to stop. Just try to make it a fluent motion. If you practice enough times, it will become fluent to you. Let's go ahead and go this one more time. Change my levels. Shoot my shot. He sprawls. I get my hips underneath me. Pop his up. And change off. A different position. Shoot my shot. He keeps my arm from coming across. Get my hips under me. Pop them up. Change up. I'll go ahead and show you this at full speed. Penetration. And come right on top. That's a high crotch lift to a double. This is for all you wrestlers at home that like to use fireman's carry. I'll show you a different version that I use. I use more of a power with it, but for no holds bars fighter, this is a position you may not want to be caught in a couple times, but you never know. So I'll go ahead and show this to you guys. I'll work from the inside tie. It's just like shooting my high crotch, but I keep this arm. Changing my levels, explosion. Now all I do is pop my hips, put them there. Right to a fireman. If I come right across, right here, I can work my arm bars from here. Either way. I have my inside tie. I take my penetration shot, change levels, come to the inside. Now you see how my feet swing. My feet swing from being straight in front of him to right next to his toes. So when I go under, I'm almost setting him right there. I come right across. A lot of things you can work from here is a knee from arm bars. A lot of different positions. This would probably be good in jiu-jitsu matches. A lot of guys don't know how to use it, so it may work well for those. 
One more time at full speed. I'm an inside tie step. And I come around on top. If you get this good enough, you can make it look very nice. That is a high, um, high crotch to the fireman's carry. Here's another way to get, um, when I hit my high crotch so my arm does not get caught up, is what you call a limp arm. All I'm trying to do was I open up the position, I shoot so he doesn't catch my arm, I reach for my back pocket, so I'm like all the way across my back to the other, the other side. So I'm reaching right here. That keeps the opening in this position so he can't hook me. Now what I'm gonna do is come right back and lift my head. I come across the legs, change off to my double, step and drive. And I can come right on top. One more time to this position. Change my level, stick my penetration. He catches me. I limp arm all the way through, come across, change off to my double, and drive. When I'm driving, I'm looking across. Okay, that's my position. My head's not down, my head's up, and looking across. This is the position I want to keep. All the way across. One more time at full speed so you can see what it looks like. Come in. If you get it quick enough when you do it, It'll come as a natural thing. So with the moves that I just showed you with my high crotch, double leg, and single, hopefully it will make you a better wrestler and fighter in the future. In my next series, you'll be seeing defenses from a takedown and uh, offenses from a takedown.